Interested in learning how I saved $97 at my last grocery shopping trip at Target? Keep watching to find out. All right, let's go check out the purchases that I got, stacking coupons, straight from my phone, no paper required. What's up guys, it's Chris here, and if you're anything like me, you really try to save money where you can, you can serve and cut back, really try to live on a minimalistic budget when you can. And what I've found is one of the best ways to cut back and try to save money is on your grocery bill. There are so many people who overspend on groceries they don't need, junk food, packaged food, and really just stuff that's not good for them anyways and is breaking their bank. It's literally like a faucet leaking their paychecks. There's so many ways that you can really shop on a budget. I know as a student, I always am shopping with my budget in mind, trying to find the best deals, the best cash back and rebates. And that's why today I'm coming at you with the three best ways that I save money when I grocery shop at Target. Now, these ways are proven. I've tried them myself along with many other people. And I've got to say, these are my favorite tips right now. There's so many other ways to save money, but these tips are unique. Not many people are talking about them. And it's really, really fun when you actually can combine multiple of these offers. Before I get into the tips, I want to explain the concept of coupon stacking. That's right, coupon stacking. I just mentioned combining multiple offers, and that's exactly what coupon stacking is. Coupon stacking is when you get multiple different kinds of coupons and you combine them together at the grocery store to get savings on top of savings and cash back. Full savings on this trip, $56. And that's before using Ibotta. Stay tuned. Coupon stacking is a lifesaver. You might be thinking, coupon stacking? Does that mean I need to cut out paper coupons and bring them to the grocery store? That's such a hassle. You know, I never stick to that. Honestly, I understand. I never stick to that either. Coupons that are in paper form, don't get me wrong, they're great and I definitely need to start using them more because that's even more coupon stacking. But I personally prefer using all digital coupons. And there's a lot of really easy coupons and different forms of coupon app that you can use straight from your smartphone. And that's really the best way that I like to do it because I don't like carrying coupons and it's really the most efficient. So number one tip when grocery shopping at Target to save a lot of money is to use Target Cartwheel app. The Target Cartwheel app is an app with all Target coupons on there. And what you can do is there's different features. You can, when you go in the store, you can scan individual products or you can go in the app prior and look through the different options. Um, I like to go in the store and just scan the different items because I'm already on the hunt for Ibotta offers, which if you stick around, I'll talk about soon. But as you can see, I have this massive receipt from my last grocery shopping trip at Target. And that receipt is so long because there's constant coupons and discounts being applied to my receipt. So it's deceptive because you might think, oh, it's only a long receipt because he spent a lot of money. That's not true at all. I usually shop on a massive student budget. Um, but as you can see from that receipt being so long, there's so many coupons that are applied, they really add up. So for this specific Target trip where I saved $97, I saved about $13 of that from cartwheel coupons. Now, it doesn't seem like much, but that on top of everything else I'm about to mention really does add up. Um, I'd highly recommend get the Target coupon app. Um, it's called the Target Cartwheel app. There's tons of coupons on there. It's completely free. Um, most of their products, uh, the Target brand's always on there, along with many others, so highly recommend 10% off, 5% off, Black Friday deals. Just keep your eye out. There's always really great offers on there. What I'm doing here is I'm scanning each item on the Cartwheel app. And as you can see, there's extra offers that you can get. And then when you pay with the Target Red Card, all the discounts go straight to the checkout. Quick pause to remind you to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I post weekly videos about personal finance, savings tips, and different side hustles that you could do to start making more money. So make sure to subscribe so you can be the first to know when I upload new videos. And also, make sure to smash that like button. It really does help the channel and it shows your support. 
All right, tip number two for how I save big at Target is the Target red card. That's right, the Target red card is one of my all-time favorite credit cards because it's amazing for grocery shopping and really anything at Target. The Target red card gives you 5% off all items in the entire store um, and that really adds up over time. I generally save about $5 to $7 just from the Target red card when I go to Target um, for my bi-weekly shopping trips. I can't tell you how many times I'll have to run to the grocery, st uh, grocery store real quick to just grab something and when you use your Target card, you're instantly getting 5% off um, anything you buy, which is huge because you add that with the other Cartwheel apps and Ibotta, which we're about to talk about, and it really adds up. The Target Red Card is also really great because you only need about a 615 credit score to qualify, which is great for people who are trying to build their credit. That's where I'm at. I have the Discover It card, which has been amazing. The Target Red Card is one of my first, and it was a really great way to get more credit under my belt and a really fun card to have, honestly. I mean, look at it. It just looks cool, doesn't it? It's like sleek. I'm a fan. Another really awesome thing about the Target Red Card and why I can't say enough about Target Red Card and why you should pause this video and apply for a Target Red Card right now is that it comes with this coupon. I got this coupon when I applied for the card in the beginning of summer 2019. I heard the second half of summer they actually gave a better coupon, but I was ecstatic with this coupon. If you could see this coupon, when you sign up for the Target Red Card, it gives you $35 completely off. That's right, $35 coupon. This is the single biggest coupon I've ever had. $35 coupon came with the Target Red Card. So I'm gonna go ahead, it's a little crumpled up because I had it in my wallet waiting for the right time, but let's, let's see how it works. Let's check it out. Oh, is it gonna work? $35, completely off. That's plant-based on a budget for you. Now you can see it's a little bit t worn, um, <laughs> a little bit wrinkly, because I actually kept this in my wallet with me for quite a while, waiting for the perfect moment that I could use it. But that's just another amazing reason to apply for the Target Red Card, and to get the Target Red Card, and to use the Target Red Card. $35 plus, 5% off on all purchases. Talk about credit card churning, am I right? Now it's time for tip number three. This is the big one that you guys have all been waiting for. And tip number three is smash that like button. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But if you haven't done so already, go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps the channel and it's totally free. So go ahead and do that. Um, it might even help you save money at Target. Who knows? Tip number three for real this time is using Ibotta. I can't say enough about Ibotta. I love Ibotta. For the longest time, I heard about Ibotta, but I was hesitant to use it. I thought it was one of those apps that was confusing or like a scam, and I just, not really about that. I don't wanna waste my time. So I didn't even download it. I kinda just looked past it. But recently, on my journey towards financial independence and trying to save as much as I can, I heard about Ibotta. I heard that it was a cash back app. I heard that all you do is upload receipts from the grocery store. And I thought it had to be too good to be true. And honestly, I wish I could say I was disappointed. I wish I could say that I was right. But I was so wrong. I love Ibotta so much, in fact, that in the first week of using Ibotta, I made $30 cash back, and that instantly turned me into a believer. I told my friends, my family, my coworkers, anyone that I talked to, I preached about Ibotta. And the reason I love Ibotta so much is that there's so many food options on Ibotta. All right, so now I'm gonna buy some potatoes. As you can see, I got the little company potatoes, because there's the Ibotta 25 cents coupon cash back. So I'm gonna grab some of these, never tried these before, but they're vegan, they look really good. And I love potatoes. They're really cheap, so let's stock up, right? I'm gonna grab this Prego Farmer's Market roasted garlic sauce. You can see it's on Ibotta for 75 cents. Um, since that's a different variety, I'm just gonna go ahead and check this barcode to make sure. Oh, and it matches. As you can see, it's also on sale, so I'm gonna go ahead and stock up. I use a lot of tomato sauce. Let me go into a little bit about how it works. When you go on Ibotta, 
you'll see multiple different food options. And what you do is you go ahead and you add things to your list that you're gonna buy or you're interested in buying. And then when you go to the store, just make sure you're buying those corresponding items. And when you check out, you just check out like normal. And you take a picture of your receipt on the Ibotta app, it uploads it, and boom, it gives you cash back for the items that you added. Now what I like to do is I like to set aside five to 15 minutes before I go to the grocery store each week or every couple weeks whenever I go to the grocery store. And I'll just add items to my Ibotta list so that I have a guide of everything I need. And then when I go to the grocery store, I'll make sure that I'm getting the same items that I added to my list so I can get those cash back rebates. This chickpea pasta is super high in protein and it's on Ibotta, so let's stock up. What? They're on Ibotta. This is why I like to use the scanner version of the Target Cartwheel app because I'm already looking for specific items from Ibotta. So when I'm looking for, let's just say, tomato sauce, and I know that there's a 50 cent Ibotta rebate for every single jar, I can also scan to see if there is a Target Cartwheel coupon that corresponds with that same product. And a lot of times you'll be surprised, there actually is an additional 20% off coupon, 10% off coupon. I've seen these happen, they exist. Plus not to mention, you get a 5% off everything else. So your coupon stacking to the max. As a recap, we've had $13 from the Target Cartwheel savings coupons. With the red card, we had an additional $9 that we saved. Plus, there was the $35 coupon that came with the Target red card for an additional $35. So all that together is $57. So of my food bill, that's almost a whopping 30%, which is huge. But now if we factor in Ibotta, that number jumps up to $97. I saved $97 at the grocery store and this is how I'm gonna give you an Ibotta breakdown of everything that I got back with Ibotta I saved 20 cents on just any item um, That I purchased just an extra 20 cent extra um, little bonus for you I got 25 cents from a kombucha another 50 cents from another kombucha the same kombucha I got 50 cents from the kombucha and an extra 25 cents, which is awesome, wow. I got $2 back from a nut butter, $1 back for olives, 25 cents for salsa, $1 back for um, pasta, and I, I got multiple of those pastas, so I probably got a few dollars back actually. $3 bonus for having the weekend warrior uh, challenge that I achieved by going this grocery shopping trip. Plus I got an extra bonus from buying waffles. Uh, I had a streak for that and I qualified for an extra bonus of $10, which gave me $39.55 in Ibotta cash back. That's not just money that I saved at the grocery store, that's actual cash. I can take out with Venmo or PayPal and have actual cash in my hand. I can buy a stock with it, I can save it for real estate. That's actual cash that I could have right now. Um, for my Ibotta account, I actually like to keep my cash in there just to let it build. Um, but I definitely plan to take it out at some point and use it because that's free money and it's Ibotta. I can't get over how amazing Ibotta is. If you're interested in Ibotta, there is a $10 referral link that I put in the description. I actually forgot to use my friend's referral link when I first signed up for Ibotta and I missed out on that $10 and it still haunts me to this day. So definitely check that out. Go ahead and click that link if you're interested um, and get started saving and making cash back with Ibotta. Really this whole video is to show that it's so easy to eat healthy and have a full plant-based balanced diet while still saving a ton of money at the grocery store. Like I said, I saved $97 at the grocery store and that's about 40% of my food bill. That's insane. I never thought I would see those kind of savings for grocery shopping. But here I am eating healthy, sometimes they're even organic <laughs> foods that I know is good for me and that I know is nourishing my body, but I'm also being wise and saving my bank account and shutting that leaky faucet so I'm not wasting money. I'm so glad that you guys were here to see that journey with me. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. 
go ahead and subscribe for weekly content. I post videos like this every single week where I break down the best tips to make more money, save more money, and just work towards financial independence. Join me in my journey. Go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I post there pretty much daily. Also, check out our website, lifestyledesigndaily.com. I post a lot of companion pieces for the video, a lot of lifestyle tips, balance and health tips, along with financial independence tips. Thank you guys again for watching, and until next time. Beyond Meat, Beyond Burgers. It's the 2.0, now even meatier. Can't wait to try these.